I, uh, I, I've got to tell you, I like the way you post pictures of your family on Instagram. You, you found a way around the kids complaining because, you know, <laughs> um, now that my daughter is 16, I never have photo approval of her ever for any photo ever. So she's 16. She's she, my 16. oldest daughter is 13 and she wants to post her face and I always say, no, you're not allowed to. You can post photos so she does cupcakes and puppies and mm. right. whenever yeah. she's in it, it has to be from the back or right. she has to put in a But I like the way you do that. That's so clever. Yeah, and that's it what I do. That's what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start doing that over Lola's face, a smiley, a smiley emoji. Right? Or a sobbing one, whatever. <laughs> yeah, however, whatever her mood was yeah. that day. But she's 13, so at what point will you let her turn around? I'm trying to move it year by year. To you pivot. Know? She's like, when can it. I do it? Maybe next year, and then maybe next year. You said that last year, Mom. Like, when? I'm trying, I don't know, I want them to still be kids. Yeah, the I longer don't think that they should be the posting all these photos. The longer you can delay, the better. It's different when we do it, you know, I feel like we're grown-ups, but children's, I want to try and keep them children as long as possible. Are you, what, what do they call them, helicopter parents? Are you? I am one of them. You are, is that what? I am definitely one of them. My kids are always like, I'm not allowed to do this, I can't do that, I can't do this, can't do that. So, you know, they've been begging me to go to sleepover, uh, a sleepaway camp. So they were just for two weeks in New Hampshire. I just flew them there. They just got back. My youngest son was after three days. Mom, come pick me up. I don't like the food. I don't like sleeping with so many boys in one room. The water is so murky. I hate it here. Please come pick me up. I had to talk them off the ledge because normally I did not really want them to go. Because yeah, right. I can't see what they're doing, you know? You can't call them, they can't use their phones or anything. But then I was like, okay, you can go. You but gotta do what my mom did. Now listen to this. What? My mom threatened us with, if we weren't good, she was gonna you send to us go a to sleepaway camp. camp. So we never knew camp was awesome. We didn't know that. <laughs> oh, yeah. He loved it in the end. I mean, my son loved it you in the end. You talked to him? I, yeah, when I picked them up, I mean, my other two, they didn't wanna come home. Why are you already here? We still wanna stay, can we stay longer? <laughs> But my son, he was happy in the end, but I had to talk him off the ledge. I had to be strong. He was sobbing on the phone. I'm like, son, you have to stay. It'll be fine. Tomorrow will be all fine. I can only imagine you at night, you know, they're in the middle of the woods. They go to bed. It's quiet. There's no TV. <clears throat> no right. mommy tucking them in. Mm -hmm. So it was yeah. harder my mother, for me, I think. My mother promised me if I made it through Boy Scout camp at the end on the way home, she would take me to get three cheese enchiladas at Dos Amigos. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. <laughs>